or Daru before Daria. Mind you, necessity is never limitless. Necessity always has limitations, and you must never go beyond those limitations. Meaning that if you have a necessary circumstance, something that becomes compelling, necessary for you, you don't have any other option, then you just have to do exactly what is necessary. Let me give you a clearer example that Brother Ma will tell us to let us understand this principle. That if you are in dire need of something to consume to preserve your life, may God forbid you find yourself in a situation that all you can find around you is what has been prohibited alcohol, pork, and so on and so forth. If you find yourself a Muslim should not plan to be in such a situation in the first place. But as Islam as a very easy and simple religion that facilitates your act, tells you if you, for adventure, for whatever reason, without you planning it, you find yourself in such a situation. Necessity here will transform haram to become halal. But my view, necessity must be kept at its limits. <coughs> what is the necessity here? It's for you to take what will keep you going, what will just let you remain afloat. Then Ulama will tell us, can you have some as a reserve? They will say the answer is no, no reserve. You are going beyond what is necessary. It is necessary for you to take to consume something now to preserve, to preserve your life. But it is not necessary for you to have something in reserve that later you will see consume, continue to consume haram. So please let us take note of this. Islam is a religion that always gives us facility, provides for us a way out, lessens our bodies, removes difficulty from us. According to this saying of Almighty Allah, Never, never intends to put anybody heavier than you on you. Wali to kumilu li'ib data, wali to kabiru Allaha ala ma halakum wa la'allakum tashkuru. In continuation, Allah said that I have done what I have done, commanding you to fast and then giving you instances, excuses, that may even give you that opportunity, that uh, leeway, that liberty of not fasting for a period of time. Well, it took me a but in order not to abuse this privilege, Allah is warning us. You're abstaining from fasting because you are sick. You're abstaining from fasting because you are on a journey does not mean you should reduce the number of the days of Ramadan. No. While it took Melu and Irinda, you must complete the number. For whatever excuse, Ramadan must be completed. While it took Melu and Irinda. The fact that you are unable to fast for one day, for two days, for three, more, less, does not give you that right of deliberate, deliberately making your own Ramadan to become 26 days or your own Ramadan to become 20 days, it will never happen. A month in Islam is either 29 or 30 days. We don't have a month of 28 days in Islam. And we don't have equally a month of 31 days in Islam. So it's, it's a well-known fact that in Islam, a month is either 29 or 30 days. Now, completing the number means whatever excuse you may have, take note of those days that you are able to fast in them and make up for those days so that the number will be completed. When you took Meru and I one of the rulings of Sharia derivable from this particular sentence, as juries will 
avert our mind to that is that it may happen that uh, for one reason or the other, someone is unable to fast for the entire period of Ramadan. Maybe he's sick throughout the month, or even on, the, on a journey throughout the month, he has that liberty. But to make up after Ramadan for the number of months. Now, what my Lama will draw our attention to is that you fail to fast in a particular Ramadan, Ramadan of a particular year. Please take note, those who observe fasting in your environment, how many days did they fast? Because that will be your one two filu and the To be clear, to come clear in your community, in your city, in your town. You are unable to fast in hospital, admitted, for example. And at the end of the day, a month, the month of Ramadan for that, for that year continued till the 30th day. They observe fasting for 30 days. Then when you come to make up for your own fasting, maybe after two months, three months, six months, you cannot fast for 29 days and say, I have completed what it took me to and Your number here becomes what? 30 days. And if they had observed fasting for 29 days, fine. You are not expected to fast for 30 days. Your completing the number will be in line with what others in your community, in your city, in your country, the number of days that they actually use fasting in that very year. When it took me to and the regular. On this note, let us draw our attention to one thing that is very clear in Sharia, but some people are still misunderstanding it. Uh, in some years past, in fact, it, it led to unfortunate sins in some, in, some, in, some, in some towns of Nigeria that you will see people refusing to come out to eat because they wanted to complete 30 days. The head of the Muslim Ummah, Muslim community, Muslim state, would have announced that, Alhamdulillah, having observed the fasting this year for 29 days, we have credible reports that the month, the moon of Shawwal has been cited. So tomorrow is our Eid, Alhamdulillah, our fasting will end today after 29 days. We see some people, erroneous understanding of Sharia, claiming that I, I don't want to reduce my, my number of fasting. I won't go to Eid tomorrow, I will fast. Wallah is a sin, I swear with all, with all, with all my jealous, in all my jealous. It's a sin, if you know. The Prophet on the day he described the month of Ramadan to people. Do you know that he actually described Ramadan as being just 29 days? 30 days are exceptions. That's the truth. On the day the Prophet ﷺ described Ramadan to people, and you see the prophet will facilitate, will simplify everything. He was even using symbols of his hands to describe to them. Those who narrated that hadith say he narrated to them by saying, Ashahu Hakana. Wahakana. Wahakana. Can you see? What does that, what does that mean? 29. Ashahu Hakana. 10. Waha Kada, 20. Waha Kada. How many? 29. That is how we describe the month of fasting. Not only that, those who recorded the detailed life history of the Prophet, they said out of the 10 years or so that he used to fast while on earth, he only observed 30 days of fasting for two or three times. All others were 29 days. So please let us have good understanding of our religion. It's a religion that is so easy and simple to practice. 
Don't put on yourself and others unnecessary money. Ramadan of 29 days falls under what? Walitukumilu alilina. The number is complete. Ramadan of 30 days, if Allah wishes, also falls under what? Walitukumilu alilina. The number in both cases is completed. If he wishes one year, he may make it 29. In some other year, he may make it 30. But the error.